Hello kids, hope you all are enjoying with your family. Let's take out some time to gain some knowledge. So we start with the chapter number one that is plants increasing the numbers. And today in the first part of this video, we are going to cover up these four topics. Why plants are important for us, new plants from the seeds, seeds and its parts and the seed germination. Why plants are so important for us? Yes, because they provide us many things. They provide us oxygen, which is very essential for us. They provide us food, wood, vegetables, rubber, cereals and many more things. So, if we need all these things, we need to plant more trees. Right? So, more plants would mean a continuous supply of plant products to meet our needs. Very true. So, the plants which are at your home also, take care of them, water them daily and take care of them now the second point that is new plants from the seeds so we have to learn about it if you have seen a plant so you can see there are many seeds on that plant in the fruits and in the flowers also so why does a plant produce so many seeds they do so because all the seeds do not grow into a baby plant or a new plant why so because some of the seeds they are separated from their parent plants by strong winds, heavy rain or they are eaten by insects or the birds. So, all the seeds they are not growing into a plant. Only those who survive and get the favorable condition for their growth, they grow into the baby plant. Fine, so this topic is also completed here. Now, the seeds and its parts. We have to understand first the seed and its parts. So, for this you need to see a diagram. This is a seed of a corn. It's a corn seed. And it is this. See, this is the seed coat. The outer covering, we call it seed coat. And this inside, it's a cotyledon, which is always stored baby plant in it. We call it monocot because it is having only a single cotyledon. Okay, so we call this seed as a monocot seed. Now, what are the other type of seed that is the dicot seed as in the bean seed you can see it is having two leaf two cotyledons and that's why it's a dicot di means two cot cotyledons short form cot so dicot seed it is also stored the baby plant in it so the seeds are of two type one is the monocot seed means one leaf seed which is having one single cotyledon and the second is the dicot seed means two leaves and it is two cotyledons. So the examples of dicot seeds, beans, gram, peas, they all are the examples of dicot seeds. And the monocot seed, corn seed, wheat, maize, rice, all the cereals, many cereals, they are monocot seed. So now you have to find it out in your kitchen also. You have to see there are many seeds which we are using for eating. Are they monocot or the dicot? Now the next is the seed germination which is my favorite one. So it's a very interesting thing. You can do it at your home also. You have to germinate one seed. The whole process in which the development of a seed into a seedling is called a germination. And it needs some condition, a necessary condi conditions to grow. First it needs water. It needs soil, some moisture and air to grow. When you, when you grow a seed into the soil, what will happen? Slowly, slowly, the roots, they are coming and they are going downwards towards the gravity. And then gradually, what will happen? The seed coat its break and this cotyledon goes up and it's converted into leaves that is shoot. Okay, so this shoot, it's always grow upward towards the sunlight and the roots, they grow downwards towards the gravity and this whole process is called germination. I think that's enough for today and in the next part of this video, we will cover up next more four topics. Meanwhile time, you have to take care of your plants, find out the dicot and the monocot seeds at your home and 
स्टे होम एंड बी सेफ